Good morning. It is Friday morning and I'm going to show you what I sold in the last 24 hours and I'm getting ready to ship. I sold this cat tray which I just listed and the buyer said she saw it on my YouTube video and had to have it. So you know who you are. Thank you so much. Uh, and then the second thing I sold is this gorgeous silver overlay bowl. It's like a square, <clears throat> excuse me, a square shape with a round bottom and it's in the Flanders or Poppies pattern. Uh, this stuff used to sell so well. Back when I had a space in an antique mall back in the dark ages, this was really, really hot. It's not so much anymore, but uh, still room for selling a really nice piece and this one is going to Germany and then I sold two bracelets which I just listed yesterday this is the Canateal sterling silver it's such a pretty one and then this brutalist cuff um, let's see the tray sold for 34 the bowl sold for, wait, no, I'll put that there, hold on, I can tell you, the bowl sold for, oh, 19 euros, <laughs> I'm guessing that's maybe $18, um, the Brutalist bracelet was 38 and the Sterling Silver bracelet was 38 also. Oh wait, there's one more thing. Uh, sold these gorgeous, great big turquoise sterling silver Navajo earrings. And those I believe sold for 62. Super nice ones. Clip on. Um, let's see. Yes, uh, 60, sorry, 63 those sold for. So, not a bad day overall. And this is what I'm going to list today. I've got this Art Deco etched pewter flask. It is by Kamoy of London. Kamoy's of London. Come on, focus. And um, it's a little bit beat up, but it's still really cool. I seem to do pretty well with the flasks, and um, I may have paid a little much for that one. I paid ten dollars for it. Uh, thinking I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to list it for. Twenty something dollars probably. And then I've got this little um, Limoges box, which is hand painted and signed. It's really cute. These little kind of eggs with bows. It's kind of Easter-y looking. So, good time to list that. And I have this absolutely breathtaking Mexican silver modernist, I guess it goes this way, modernist floral, very sculptural, big heavy piece. It's got, it's not signed by the maker, but it's got the eagle mark. It says Tosco Sterling 925 is what that said. And then it's got the Tosco eagle mark. Uh, probably 19... 50s on this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell that for a pretty high price, I think, because I paid quite a bit for it. So I fell in love with it. So not sure exactly how much yet. And uh, then since I listed the other brutalist cuff yesterday and it sold right away, so I'm gonna go ahead and list this one. It'll be easy. Don't have to change much in the listing. These are just so cool. And then the last thing is this Danecraft sterling silver necklace. Danecraft jewelry is just so nicely made, and it sells for good money. I knew it was collectible, but when I started looking it up, I was like, wow, these, these sell for a lot. So, I don't know, it might be somewhere around, uh, somewhere between $80 and $100 I'm going to try for this. So that's today's listings. 
Hello, just got back from walking to the post office and the library where I got these two books. This one is Captivology, The Science of Capturing People's Attention. And this one is The Laws of Magical Thinking, How Irrational Beliefs Keep Us Happy, Healthy, and Sane. Kind of a self-help book junkie. I can't help myself. I just, yeah, I have, I should get a, read a book on being addicted to self-help books. <laughs> but um, these two sounded very interesting. I always read a few pages to see if the author sounds like they know what they're talking about and if it's a research-based book or just um, one that's based on personal experience. Obviously, I like the first kind better. But I'll let you know whether these are good or not. And this is our usual Friday night dinner. There's the healthy part. There's the water boiling. We have macaroni and cheese. We use whole wheat pasta to try and make it a little more healthy and we add broccoli to it, but there is still that cheddar cheese. Oh well.